Hey guys, the objective of this video is to look at a case with cracked 28 days and we're looking at sagging. So in the previous video we looked at uncracked 28 days sagging, now we're looking at cracked 28 days sagging. Okay, so here's our information, it's the exact same problem, I've just drawn in the centroid of the bars from the top. Um, the end value, the ratio of the elastic modulus of steel to concrete is 5.75, so that's still the same. So now what we're going to do is find the corresponding areas. Before we do that, I need to show you what this problem, how this problem differs to the previous one. So what we're going to say now is that the concrete's cracked. Now the concrete's going to crack in the tensile region. So we know that some of the concrete, while it's bending, is going to be in compression and some of it's going to be in tension. Okay. So there's going to be a line. So we're going to assume it's in the web. Okay. So say over here like that. Okay. So everything below that line we're going to say is cracked and everything above it is still intact. So this is all the remaining concrete, which is intact, and everything below it, all the concrete is cracked. We still have the steel bars here, and we also still have the steel bars there working. But all this concrete is now gone. This is where the neutral axis is, so we're going to call that Y bar. Okay, and we're assuming it's in the flange. So we're assuming that Y bar is less than 100 mils. So, with that in mind, we're going to continue. The, first, the next thing we need to do is find each of the um, corresponding areas from steel to concrete. So if we do the um, top first, so the area of the top steel. So just like the previous video, we're going to come and fill in that concrete. So it's going to be five, sorry, fill in the steel. So it's going to be 5.75 minus one. Okay, so we're multiplying by that factor plus subtracting one to, in order to fill those holes times by the area of the bars. So there's two bars by pi by, those are n um, 20 bars. So we're timesing by 10 squared. If you were to work this out, we would get 2985 millimeters squared. Okay, so the area of our top bars over here, 